Hey guys, it's new radio season again, and we got new radios. And we have... Old radios. That's right, we got the old one and the new one. We're going to tell you the difference between the two, so stay tuned. All right, so we thought it'd be helpful this year if we took the old one and we took the new one and we told you the differences and the similarities between the two. Mm -hmm. Thought that'd be helpful. That way, if you have the old one and you want the new one, well, you get the scenario here. You can figure it out. So we're going to do each one of the radios. So this just happens to be the 2700 and the new 2800. Yeah. If you don't have that model radio, just check our video listings. We're going to have yours because we did all five of them. There you go. I know. But if you don't feel like they're pretty much all the same anyways... So, let's get started. Oh, yeah. What are the similarities in these? Okay, so they both have a um, touchscreen 6.2 inches. Yes, and they both have five display colors and 112 key colors. 13 backgrounds and a splash screen. They have navigation ready. Okay, uh, they have F AM, FM. They have Bluetooth hands-free calling as well as Bluetooth music. Um, Siri eyes free. CD, DVD, and USB aux. They have Sirius XM ready as well as Pandora controls and video output. Uh, steering wheel controls, input. And they have a six channel four volt preamp output. With 50 watts by four. They also have a 13 band EQ, a cool crossover, time correction, and independent level control for each channel. Uh, they have remote control and five languages. And it will also do standard or network mode. There you go. Okay, so those are the similarities. Now, let's talk about the differences, shall yes. we? Okay, so to talk about the differences, the first thing is these have the new clear resistive touchscreen. Yes. Okay, which is uh, much shinier and uh, more sharp than the old screen, which is this one. So we'll bang through the menus here real quick. Network standard mode stayed the same. Uh, here's your phone choices, stayed the same. All right, so they now come with a new background, and the uh, which acts, which well makes that new clear resistive screen screen look more colorful, vivid, and sharp. All right, so let's go here, and the first thing you'll notice is this guy right here. They are now Spotify control capable, so you have Pandora and Spotify, whereas the old ones were just Pandora. Then also this guy down here. This new guy that says power off, as opposed to before where it just said source off. So what this is giving you is the ability to actually turn the radio off. Do you want to turn this radio off? Yes. The radio will turn off. Touch one of the buttons, and it'll power back on. Now uh, these units, you did this, it did that, and then you hit display, and it shut off the display, and it was kind of off. And of course, you'd come over here, and you'd touch the screen, and come back on. All right, so now, the other thing that these have We'll go over here and we'll go into the menu. Is beep tone. You can now turn the beep on and off. If you got an older unit, or I'm sorry, if you got a unit towards the end of the life cycle, it also came with a beep tone off. But if you got one early in the year, it didn't have this. This was an update they did that they did not release to the public, those meanies. So all the radios this year have beep tone off. Now let's go into the backgrounds. Okay, obviously it added that new background that you already saw and you lost this one. This one here stayed the same. And that one. Okay, as you can see this one's a little bit more vivid. Well, hopefully you can see this is a little more blue, more vivid. Uh, you have this. That stayed the same. And then you got this new one here. And of course you got rid of that one. This one went bye-bye. Okay, and then of course you kept the snake scales. And all the... All the movies stayed the same as well as you can import your own. Oh, one other feature that they added this year also is if you come in here, you go to settings, and you go to camera settings, and you turn on the camera, it'll add the camera view to the drop down menu. So now you can easily access the camera view, whereas before it was a bit of a pain. You also have your power off in your, as well down here too. So it makes things a little bit easier to use. So those are the screen differences. Now there's a few more differences, such as dual phone Bluetooth pairing, uh, which means you can have two phones paired to it, one for music. And one for, 
phone calls. Correct. They also will do FLAC audio playback. Okay. They'll do Pandora presets. And uh, you can do phone book menu manual reset. Okay. Okay. And then there's one biggie. Yes. What is it's, that? It's no mirror link. That's correct. <sighs> mirror link is gone out of the units. Yeah. I know some of you will be disappointed. We won't. Because <laughs> it never worked and we were tired of telling people, sorry, it doesn't work. All right, well, that's the 2800. Like we said, there'll be others for the other radios. So if you don't have a 2800, you have a 5800 or a whatever. Yeah. Check out those videos. They're going to be just like this one, just with your radio in it. Hot damn. So, end this for me. Yes, you guys can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys, as usual. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.